Welcome back to Daily Devotions from Mount Calvary Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Andrew Howe, and uh, we're continuing through the Gospel of uh, Matthew, and today we're going to take a look at Matthew chapter 20. You know, there's, there's key moments in Jesus' ministry where he says something to them that makes a whole lot of sense to us, but to the disciples and, and those around him at the time it, is very confusing. Hear the words from Matthew 20. And as Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the 12 disciples aside and on the way he said to them, See, we are going up to Jerusalem and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and scribes and they will condemn him to death and deliver him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified and he will be raised on the third day. You know, there's another time where, where that happens and he, and he shares those words, those somewhat difficult words that he's going to go and be handed over by the scribes and, and the teachers of the law and he's going to be tried arrested and tried and then he's going to be sentenced his sentence would be a death sentence but that death sentence gives you and i hope life and demonstrates the greatest act of god's love he would be flogged and, and scourged. He'd be offered a little bit of uh, wine vinegar on a sponge. But he, he did all of that for you. So as you go about your, your day today or this week, maybe as, as I talked about yesterday, uh, you're, you're feeling life is so busy right now and it, 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 it never seems to not be busy. Take a moment to appreciate those words from Jesus that the reason he's coming into Jerusalem is to give up his life on the cross you know maybe you're you're going through a lot in your life right now maybe uh, as I talked about on Sunday in my message maybe you've gotten some bad news recently maybe you've uh, been frustrated by the political divide in our country maybe uh, you're not sure when this pandemic's going to end. Maybe you're uh, just as confused as any of us are on how do we make sense of all of this as a Christian. And I think it's what Jesus says here in 20. You know, this is one of the last times he will say that this is what's going to happen to him. And this chapter happens just before chapter 21 which is where we're gonna see Jesus riding into Jerusalem on that donkey to the crowd shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna to the King, which means Lord, save us. The good news is Jesus does fulfill this prophecy here. It's not even his own prophecy, it's Isaiah's, that he was gonna be brought low and he was gonna be put to trial and he was gonna be pierced for our transgressions. So don't forget that in the midst of a busy life. Maybe your life isn't all that busy right now. Maybe things are going just swell. But even in the midst of life going well or not so well, we can lose sight of, of who our God is. Our God of love, our God of mercy, our God of hope. That God of mercy and hope gave his life on the cross for you and I. And that gives us peace. So as you go into your day today, or maybe you'll watch this at the end of the end of your day, know full well that your God loves you, he gave his life for you, and he lives and reigns for you. Amen? Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for who you are. You are a God who, who said you were going to do what you came to do, and that is give up your life on the cross. I pray that uh, we as your people would never lose sight of those words and that promise and the activity that you do by taking our place of death on the cross. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God's blessings on your day.